Wakurugenzi, why isn't Peru in the 2022 Qatar World Cup? Waliogopa hizo team zingine zitawalima. Kurugenzi <laughs> my man Kurugenzi Diastories episode 10 man ay 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 na hivyo tu ndio season inaenda kufungwa bana without further ado wacheni niingie katika story ya leo ambayo ni we ya kukata na shoka he he watu wanakapitia hapa nje but eh, Mungu anasaidia au sio Wakurugenzi mwaka ni 2009 2009 kuna binti hapa Nairobi amemaliza shule lakini mzazi wake hasikii vizuri akiona huyu msichana na manga manga tu hapa Nairobi oh sijui hizi makoskos ndogo ndogo oh before waitwe university kuna gap years juu ya one and a half years it's too much for this parent anaona hapana huyu huyu hata ni askume afuate sister yake huko Marekani US of A Huyu msichana tumpatie jina gani? Tumpatie jina gani? Sitaki tuvia jina yake ukweli. Tumuite aje. Liz. Liz maze yako na sister yuko US. Eh, baba yake anajua ule sister yako US huko maisha inakani kama si mbaya sana. Si hata huyu Liz amfuate huko. Mara hiyo hiyo mzee akahakikisha wameapply kuelekea US. Eh, mambo ya visa applications na nini nini wakajaribu mara ya kwanza hawakufanikiwa. Uh, Ah, msichana hata akasikia vizuri sababu kusema tu ile ukweli. Hii story ya kwenda US hakuwa na feel, hakuwa na idai hata kidogo. So vile application ilikuwa rejected, ah akasema well and good, wacha tukai Kanairo. Yeah. yeah, kama ni development ya <laughs> character tuipate hapa hapa ikiwa safi, moto straight off the kitchen. Ah, mzae akuwa anaona vile kidogo kidogo sijui aka pull strings gani hizo nini nini we ku apply mara ya pili visa ikajipa ah msichana akawekwa kwa ndege very fast we fanya aje ingia US enda huko tutakutafutia shule safi ingia shule piga kitabu vile inafaa upate kazi na pesa nyingi ututoe kwa ngori hiyo ndio ilikuwa emo ya mzazi baba alikuwa ameshapiga yeye hesabu proper kabisa so mara hiyo hiyo pepa zimetoka msichana ameshaingizwa pale JKA teke teke siu kimbi ambaka mahali panaitwa mejuri e, kwenda mahali sister yake yuko he wakurugenzi wateni waambie ukiingia America bana siku za kwanza kwanza mambo ikuwa kirahisi na huyu mrembo alienda akagundua hivyo first hand alienda akapata sister yake anakula ngori sister yake kwanza amejifungua amepata mtoto mdogo wanaishi kwa kabed sita yeye na boyfriend na na huyu mtoto amezaliwa saa hii maisha inachacha haya mzigo ndio hiyo imetoka Kenya ameambiwa enda huko uishi na sister yako kwa ile bed sita sasa ni baba mama mtoto na msichana mwingine ameingia watu wanne wanaishi kwa ka space kana toshana kama store ni noma life imechacha huko mbaya haya kitu ya pili Ule mzae alienda akahakikisha msichana amepata mpaka barua za shule. Alienda akatafuta shule fiti nini? Akalipa aka, akalipa semesta ya kwanza na akaambia msichana ingia ingia shule. E, na ujue sasa since ushafika Amerika we pambana. E, usome mchana usikufanya kazi, upate pesa ya kulipa hizo semesta zingine zote zimebaki. Kitu msichana hajui ni kwamba the dad <laughs> Hakuenda kwa JQuart ya USA no A- at is my university ya USA ha ha alienda sijui USIU ya huko college ya pesa nyingi yani mpaka msichana anajiuliza lakini mzae alikuwa anafikiria nitalipa hii kitu aje 
Unazaje niweka kwa college ya pesa nyingi hivi maze na unajua vizuri sina kazi sina kazi But msana kama sawa tushafika tushafika lazima tutafute namna wewe ni kuchacha kuchacha pale bed sita imesumbua wakiwa hivyo mtu nne hao walikipata pata He ikakuwa hapa sasa atuwezi endelea hivi lazima msichana atafute kazi Siliza ameenda akapata familia ilikuwa inaishi huko sasa amejiongeza no you must uh, you know pull some weight around the house So lazima kazi itafutwe pia wewe ushikilie bills kiasi hapa na pale. Mungu anasaidia. Family friend, wao akakuja akamwambia kuna kama maskan mahali <coughs> unaweza ingia. hiyo e, maskan ni nini ni call center. Call center inalipa kitu kama dola 80 pa hour, si pesa mbaya. 80 dollars pa hour ukipiga hapo hawa zako kumi. <laughs> Siko sure kama nakubali kufanya 10 but ukaza sukuma kumi hiyo si ni 800 dollars. Siko sawa ingia hapo piga shughuli sasa noma ni moja hiyo call center ilikuwa mbali mahali una drive non stop for 45 minutes inamaanisha hiyo call center akiwa bed sitter ziko wapi akiishi roisambu call center iko machakos <laughs> na anafaa apige iko mute every day ah ili, ilikuwa inachacha lakini pesa lazima itafutwe bana pesa lazima itengenezwe So at least uh, ma 80 dollars zimeanza ku come ikakuwa hata sasa kwa ibed sita hatuwezi wacha we move into a bigger apartment at least watu wako comfortable si sasa tuko na ma 80 dollars zinaingia hapa atalipa lipa tu vitu kadhaa na wakafanya hivyo waka move to a bigger apartment at least maisha ikaanza kukaa nikai na make sense kidogo lakini usisahau msichana bado anafaa aende shule na semester ikiisha aingie wapi alipe semester next na hii shule nimesema sio shilingi mbili dilemma Msichana bana ameshaanza kukua mwenyeji huko anapiga piga shughuli zake unfortunately semester ndio inakaribia kuisha Amegatha pesa ya kulipa semester next hii shule expensive oh, oh mumegatha na yeye Mungu alikuwa amembariki akapata sababu hii safari ya kuenda Machakos daily Machakos ya US is no joke so kambariki na kamazda kametandika mbaya nilikuwa na kamazda kama ako a few years ago wale watu walikuwa wananijua zamani <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. ben weke hiyo first generation maz ah, ah, usiweke usiweke ben inaweza kuwa si, si the same make but anyway it's an old mazda so hiyo ndio alikuwa anapiga piga nao malapa kende hizo shughuli zake lakini si unajua gari mzee vile inakuwaaga inangojaaga tu mahali kuna watu inaleta aibu ya yeah, gari mzee zinakoaga na ni kama zinatokaga na memo kila asubuhi leo aibisha huyu jamaa vile inafaa he one time uh, ameenda raundi ku kuona rafiki yake anaishi kwa apartments zingine ziko mahali anafika huko piga shughuli yake akienda kutoka eh hakuna jaribu 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 kitu haiwaki He, akingangana ngangana hapo eh mjamaa anapita hapo bwana jamaa piga eh, luku safi haitako nayo miraba minne anakaa ni mtu ame, ameshughulikia mwili proper ni basically eh, wa, wasichana wanaitaga watu kama hao mali safi so mali safi fulani ikapita hapo jo msichana akaangalia gai 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 mali safi hata niona hapa nikingangana na hii jalop yake ya Mungu But eh, akajaribu akaona eh hey, hapa ni noma. Ule mjamaa akipita akadiscover eh hey, hapa Liz ni kama inamchachia akakama. Akamuuliza eh eh rada. <laughs> What's happening yao? <laughs> so Bazeliza akamwambia eh hey, man Joe gari menchachia hapa bana I've been trying to start it for a minute. It's not working. Jamaa akamwambia worry no more you know why? Cuz I got you kajaribu kumshikanishia tu vitu hapo nini nini kidogo kidogo gari kawaka akamwambia fanya hivi e, mimi nafanya kazi kwa car dealership unaweza tafuta muda kidogo ukuje at least tuone mavitu ambazo niko nazo pale sababu wewe clearly you need a new car hiyo ni kitu unaweza fanya of course Lisa akamwambia yeah of course yeah i can do that mjamaa akaingia akampiga kadi yake safi akamwambia Ukiwa tayari we nipigie simu kam cheki cheki zile vitu tuko nazo. Sasa sasa. Jamaa kaenda njia yake Liz shoo teke teke mpaka nyumbani. Wacheni niwaambie wakurugenzi Liz alijiita mkutano akajiambia e school fees hata nifanye nini. Hakuna vile naweza toboa. 
tuambiane tu kweli hii school fees is ridiculous na kuna mali safi mahali amenipatia kadi akasema niende ni muone huko job <coughs> ah wacha niende ni muone Liz teke teke akatoka hapo akaingia hiyo jalopi yake teke teke mpaka kwa hiyo kadi la ship akaingia huko kuangalia gari hata afanye nini hawezi afford ah, zero but kweli wa mambo ni kwamba hakuna gari alikuwa ameenda kununua alikuwa amemulika mali safi na unajua hapa kwa umali safi mambo ikienda safi ai si sasa hii mambo ya fees itashughulikiwa wasichana wanajua kupiga calculations ah, mbaya haya Liza ameshaingia pale kwa car dealership mjamaa ametokelezea amekaa amempiga mazima roundi ma roundi ma roundi ma roundi amecheki magari hapo nini teketeke au oh, ka story kameshika hapo then kidogo kidogo jamaa kaambia in fact ma'am if you're not too busy you know we could grab something to eat man would you mind us going for dinner Liza na Jita meeting ajiambia mimi nikatae dina mimi nikatae kaide nyeje mimi tunaenda hiyo dina kwani ni kesho kaambia oh man i'm very available man let's, let's do this take it take wameshaingia dina wameongea vibe imekubali conversation iko tu sawa akakama ka discover u jamani jamaa ex military alikama kapata injury ngori sana ya motorcycle i think alianguka na bike akaumia deadly sasa kuzi anakoganda medication ni nini, nini but ana manage poa command yake ana GMB anga inga 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 ex military inamaanisha nikiingia box ya um jamaa eh, papers zangu zita processiwa mbio sababu school fees ikinichachia niache kwenda shule shule iambie serikali huyu msichana alikuwa ako hapa kwa visa ya education na kujagi shule immediately ana fall out of status na hiyo ni makosa but uki fall out of status unaingizwa ndege 6 in the morning out rudi nyumbani ulituambia umekuja kusoma mbona usomi na uwezi waambia ati sina pesa sababu uki apply visa pale Nairobi wanakuitishanga bank statements ndio waone kama we ni mtu unaweza sustain hiyo maisha ya huko na juu bank statements zako huko zinasema uko sawa wewe we, we ni self sponsored student enda ufanye sasa unakuja kutuambia huna pesa kwani ukiwa Nairobi huko unakumbuka huna pesa wacha mchezo panda ndege rudi so um rembo by any means necessary lazima angetafuta karatasi either apate sponsore wa kumlipia hii shule ama aolewe apate green card mambo ya shule hata akimis kidogo at least ya ni citizen hakuna mtu atamfukuza so bas ah kaona huyu jamaa mambo yake si mbaya iko tu sawa before long ikakuwa maze ni 200 visit wazazi ucheki wazazi wangu nini nini e, jamaa na kamkwa kina lizu huko mali wanaishi kwa hiyo apartment hey, but uh, kwa hizo pilka pilka za kukuja jamaa kukuja huku Eliza anaanza kupika pick up tu vitu like unajua basic etiquette um jamaa hana kuna vile tu una behaving ukiwa kwa wenyewe for lack of a better word um guys manners hana kabisa but eh hey, papers we are looking for makaratavi So ikakuwa sawa eh, ashaanza kupika up tu vitu weird jo jamaa next time wakaenda kwa kina mjamaa mjamaa baba yake alikuwa ni general kwa military maze so hii family yao ni family ya military deadly but eh, the mom was a housewife eh kidogo na discover vile u, kijana anaongelesha mama yake ai kwani huku America watu wanaishi aje una, una mama yako anakuongelesha unamuita a female dog oh yo 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 yo, yo. Kenya hata Jaribu tu kaa ni kama umefikiria kitu mbaya kuhusu mama yako tunaenda mazishi weekend without fail tunakimbiza mwili very fast hey so Liza na Juliza mzee watu wanaopareta aje na u boy kwani shida yake ni nini but eh hey, hey, duru makaratasi yeah we stick to the plan he kidogo kidogo bana vibe imeshakubali siku moja jamaa amekuja amemtembelea Ameambia Liz ingia hapa. Ka hapa kwa gari twende na wewe drive kidogo. Wakiwa mahali tu katikati ya highway. Same 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 na vile mkurugenzi alifanyaga. Mahali katikati ya highway. <laughs> Akamuuliza, "Oya, aje aje. Situkaanishe. Since sasa ni kama tushaingia box, unaonaje?" Lakini huyu jamaa 
ju pesa kwake ilikuwa ni nonsense akatoa ring fulani ya kuna material inaitwa emerald mimi nilidhani emerald ni nguo ni kumbe kuna material sti inaitwa emerald hey na nasikia si shilingi mbili is very expensive we akatoa ring fulani ya emerald akampatia akamwambia mzee be my wife man wewe nimeangalia hivi niko na umetosha tuishi oh mrembo aka nice akajua kwisha jehova you are faithful aki ya Mungu hizo ni makar ay 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 sasa nitasoma bila stress green card ndio hiyo loading ah maisha iko sawa i'm loving it of course akasema yes kama 150 na wakaenda shughuli zao huko kwa highway lakini mnakumbuka niliwaambia ukijana mambo yake ni funny one moment ako like this the next one ana behave sijui aje very erratic behavior so hii safari wameenda huko kujienjoy juu yenyewe ka proposal kameji kamejipa on their way back o oh, ka argument tu kaanza mchezo mchezo ah liza kafika point akaanza kuju jamaa kwani wewe unafikiria wewe ni nani akatoa mpaka hiyo ring alimpea akamwambia shika hata hiyo ring yako nimepata wewe ni mtu very unreasonable hata sitaki ah una ni, ni, ni vizuri tunaenda tukirudi ushanikasirisha ah kaa na hiyo wewe rudi probation kwanza ah nimeona ndaingia box yako hapa haraka alafu unipate wewe ni mtu bure ah kaa na hiyo ring guy Iring na ni ya pesa yote. Majamaa alipeleka tu dirisha chini. Yo ring ya pesa yote. Fya nje ya dirisha. Manze Liza na sema ke Mungu, hiyo ring hata ungenige, niende tu pawn shop ni use. Ningelipa hata semester tatu bana. But apparently, yeye ndio alikuwa gatabia ujamaa. Ujamaa mungekuwa na ye, ako na the latest iPhone, ako kwa gari ana drive, mwenye anaongea na ye, amkasirishe. Ana shukisha dirisha anatupa iPhone mzima nje ya dirisha like tabia gani hizi he so Liza akajita meeting akajiambia no sasa madam itabidi uchague kama unataka makaratasi ama <laughs> unataka etiquette <laughs> choose eh, sababu karatasi vile we unaendelea utapoteza he eh, akajiambia yeye hakuna haja nipoteza hizi papers ni important i need them akarudi tu oh, ikakuwa ni sawa pole maze you know we overreacted and what not nini but tuendelee tuna maisha one time <laughs> wakatoka tu wameenda maraundi zao jamaa na sukuma pick up hizi ma pick up trucks kubwa ameenda ame park nje ya convenience store mahali ameambia Liz tulia hapo dakika chache na kama ameshatoka ameingia kwa convenience store ashachukua kitu inakaka ile ya kusugua sufuria inaitwa nini hiyo steel wool ashachukua hiyo ashachukua kilolipop ashachukua kapen amekama amerudi ndani ya truck ameshaketi chini ameshaweka steel wool hiyo ameiweka kidesign hapa amengoa ile kitu ya ndani ya pen ameweka kando so amebaki na aka ka pipe ameweka hiyo pen juu ya ka, ka steel wool amekashikanisha ame kidesign hapa alafu ndani ya pen kwa hii, this hollow space ametupa ma, ma crystals fulani huko hivyo ndani alafu akafunika na steel wool nyingine hapa juu alafu akaanza kuchoma hii steel wire ya chini so hii steel wire chini inachoma hizi crystals hapa juu hizi crystals zinatoa moshi zinakuja zinakuwa filtered na hii steel wool hapa juu alafu anaipiga hapa kando kwa passenger seat please ako hapo ana watch in this belief wadao This guy was doing something called crack cocaine. Chief, wacha niwaambie kuna cocaine na kuna crack cocaine. Cocaine ni whisky. Crack cocaine ni changa. Yaani Sijui it's the bottom of the barrel ikifika kwa hiyo kitu ya you know miadarati. Crack cocaine ni kitu sasa what was streets ndo vuta hiyo like it, ni lakini na wewe inakushika proper unapiganga hiyo kitu unalala yani hard drugs umresh liza kwa hapa kando anashindwa what the hell what the hell um jamaa anaririma tu na niko hapa kando check me sina papers makarawa kikamsaiwa pate wao kwa hapa unaririma hata mimi naririma ndani ya KQ nikirudi mtao are you serious are you kidding Jamaa hata mbuyu yako huko mazee zimemuonyesha mbaya ameenda deadly. 
Mdema kwa hapa anasema gai gege akia Mungu kopa sijaribu kuingia hapa wallahi kopa akafika hapa kwanza hii moshi iko kwa hii gari mimi ni home sina papers home i'm going home so jamaa kwa hapo mazee after some time akafufuka ah mambo ikakoe iko sawa na akaanza ku nini akawasha gari akaishia now before a big easy experiment first of all hizo ni experiment gani nani huyo alikuambia ukiweka steel wire na crack oh nani lakini watu wa drugs nyinyi mnafaa tu mkuwe scientist hizo ni nini uogopi reaction hapo itakufanya mbaya unaanza vuta kitu upate bana umevuta nuclear hapo uanze kumea manyoya kama jogo uogopi hiyo hey watu wa drugs hey calm down guys calm down So mjamaa mzee before anza hizi mavitu zake alikuwa na kipackage. Hiyo package akaenda aka exchange na watu wawili watatu nini nini but umresha kwa ameshikanisha ni nini anafanya hapo nje ndio akakaa kwa gari akaanza kusmoke. So eventually ndio Liz ana discover wait a minute not only is this guy a drug user he's also a drug dealer. Oh my. Sasa mimi kwa harakati zangu za kutafuta papers aki ni nimejipa kwa form ya Pablo Escobar shwali. Shwali. Hii sasa hata si KQ home, hii ni jela, straight. Straight. So akatoka hapo akajiambia mzee hapana, lazima nitafute solution ya hii kitu. Jo akaenda mtaa, akajisikiza akasema, "Eh hey, hapa. Eh hey, hapana, hatuwezi endelea hivi. Eh hey, hapa ni hapa ni tricky. Hapa is no mare. Wacha nijipatie muda kidogo. Nijifikirie, nijiulize kama hizi papers nataka sana hivyo ama nitafute tu alternative nyingine." For some time mjamaa akakuwa amepotea potea, potea aongee ongee kidogo kidogo then after ka wiki mbili Liza anapata simu Simu ni nani ni mjamaa huyu mjamaa hata hajakuwa anywhere the last two weeks amekuwa wapi so akashika simu eh hey, ni aje eh hey, mzee ni komba haya kama unichukue ni kwa place flani 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 please to come kama unichukue ai Liza akasema okay after all ni nugu yangu wacha tu nitoke akaenda kaingia kwa gari teke teke mali amepatiwa address akaenda akaingia kufika anapata it's a crack house huko ndio majanki waga wanakutana ni kihao tu kimansion but watu wako huko tu wako miadarati mbaya wamelala kwa makouch wengine wameblake kwa floor hapo wako kwa carpet wengine wanatapika huko nje like hell so akaingia ndani mzee akapata mjamaa wake ako hapo kando ako na ma withdrawal deadly anachukua ka kitu kama ka pipe anajifunga kwa kwa mkono ka vein katokee akachoma mavitu zake hapo kwa kijiko akazipiga kwa syringe alafu cha akajiseti hii time yote Liza anamwangalia tu hivi jamaa akazima Liz na yeye akakaa akangoja mpaka mjamaa amalize kuzima amke ndio achukue mtu wake ampeleke wapi nyumbani eh hey! Mozeliza na Jembe I swear hizi papers ni aki hizi papers ni important. But um jamaa hii rabbit hole anaingia maze miss juu atajitoa aje. So akapeleka jamaa home na akaenda mtaa akajiambia okay. First of all um jamaa anajidunga. Na hizi vitu za kujidunga mna share needles ujui ya kwanza ma crackheads wako hapo wengine wanakawa gonjwa. Ai akajiambia hapana hapa lazima niende hospital pia mimi nitestiwe. Naweza kuwa na contract ma vitu hapa na sijui. So akaenda hosi akapigwa testing haraka haraka wakapata phew thank god negative akakamta akajiita meeting akasema now huyu jamaa je tumeshakubali tunawana wacha nimpige kata ya hakuna kuonana kimwili <laughs> baka mbona wasemsema hivyo walionana kimwili hawa watu usiwaone hivyo si watoto so <laughs> hakuna cha hiyo story until wedding ifanyike I think comment yake alikuwa ashajiambia wedding ikifanyika si niko na papers si ndio hivyo hata nikikolo of wedding nishaolewa nishapata citizenship mimi ni hivyo so akaenda akaambia mjamaa ni aje hey maze since tumekubali tunaoana nimeona wacha tusi ika mambo tuachane nayo until siku ya harusi unajua let's preserve ourselves for that beautiful day it's important tafadhali eh hey, hata ndio ndio kutana hiyo time kukwenda ka yeah kasaiku flani maze jamaa kaambia yenyewe you are right yeah let, let's do that ah, yeah. wacha tu to maintain until siku ya harusi then 
Katambe. Sasawa? Sasawa. Oh nice. Lisa. Thank God. Akenda mta. Jama. Hmm. Udema nafikiria mimi ni fala. So jua mimi nipata na drugs mara mbili tatu ana try kunitoka. Anijui. So Lisa naenda huko akifikiria kila kitu iko sawa. But mjamaa amejiita meeting akajiambia Udema na nibeba ufala. Atantambua. Time to Lisa amebangaiza kwa keja ana pressure simu inaingia. Ni usiku. Ni aje? Ah kama hata niko hapa chini, kama nikupeleke place. So Lisa anashuka, anaenda huko poa, amechukua tu ka notebook yake na ka pencil. Haja beba do, haja beba nini si chali yake ndio anamkujia. Hata haja shughulika kuambia wase home anaenda wapi? Ah mambo iko sawa. Akaenda akaingia kwa gari ya jamaa, na jamaa katoka vizuri, shuu, akaenda akashika highway, wakaenda wanaelekea sawa so, wametoka mizuri, wanaelekea mtaini to Kansas. But about Lisa yuko shuu sure, akawa alifika Kansas but highway ndio hiyo. So akafika place fulani wakaingia mahali hivi e, kwa kistore, wana kwa gharama stores fulani hivi, oh, ma shops huko wanazita ga stores. So kuingia ndani ni hizi zenye zinakuwa na glass, kama zenye zinakuwa kwa, kwa malls unapata ni glass tupu nini. Akaenda akafungwa one of the shops hapo. Akona mpaka ki e, wakaingia ilikuwa inauza I think artifacts hiyo store. Siko sure sana e, but I think yeah ilikuwa inauza artifacts if I'm not wrong. So maze eh mdema akaingia akachiki hiyo shop ma, eh okay inakafiti. Mjamaa hapa akamuuliza ni aje unaweza penda ku own kitu kama hii? Of course, Lisa akasema ya, hii itaniki busy sana wakati siko Keradhi, siko Daro, naweza kuwa na kama hapa na nafanya mambo yangu, nini na chill. So wako hapo mzee ako busy anaangalia angalia mavitu hapo nini nini kidogo akasikia, eh hey, it's awfully silent. Kwa nini mjama wangu wako wapi? Kutan, anapata mjama alishatoka akafunga na kifunguo akosaidia nje, the other side of the glass. So anashindwa, okay babe, brother. Akamwambia sasa wewe Nimeka mkupima nikapata wewe si mtu mzuri wewe. Wewe unaka ni mtu unapanga kunitoka anytime na mimi acha nikwambie sitokangwi. So hivi ndio tutakacheza. Nataka niende nichukue mawe hapa nje very fast. Nitandike hii glass mawe deadly. Alafu nipigie cops niwaambie ulikuwa unaniibia. So unajua akifika hapa jo agundue papers zinakuchachia itakuwa ni blanda. So hivyo ndio nafanya. Eh hey, mazede marashindwa mbona udu hivyo mazede? Ah wewe nimeona unataka kuniset wewe, unataka kuniacha wewe juu ya ngori zangu za matembe. Oh juu nilikuwa na motorcycle accident wewe so lazima nikaage tu niko nini juu ya pain na unataka kunitoka. Ah akamwambia zi mazee aki I swear sikutoki. Ah mimi hakuna mahali naenda. Ah please usipigie makara. Jamaa anatoa mpaka simu. Ah 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 acha afisa wafike. Uambie hiyo kelele yote unaniambia nani? Ah wewe nimeona ah mazede karibu apige magoti. Please mazee usite usite cops. Wewe unajua bwana mimi simu hizi. Mbona unifanyie kitu kama hiyo? So jamaa akapiga hesabu yake akamwambia acha nikwambie mtu yangu kitu ikikudanganya unitoke wewe au utajua mimi sitokangwi akafungua store wakatoka kwaambia haya e, mimi nimechangamka nimeenda zangu mtaa jua vile utafika home na akaenda akaingia kwa gari na akawasha gari fiu, akaenda umdem akitoka kwa hao alitoka na do oh ulimpea Alitoka tu na pencil na notebook. I wish kungekuwa na gari zinaweza chukua. Aki please nataka nirudi mizuri utachukua page mbili kwa hii notebook yangu. Hakuna. So hana namna ya kutoka mahali huko. Akashindwa mzee sasa atapigia nani? Baba yake yako Kenya, sister yake ndio yuko mizuri. But sister yake pia anapitia mangori zake sana ashindwa. Man, sasa ndapigia. Akasema acha nipigie tu mzae. Mzee mzae John niko place fulani na need kurudi home jo sijui itakuwaje. Ah mzae akamwambia sasa mimi unanipigia na niko Kanairo. Nikusaidia aje ukiwa sijui ni mizuri ama ni Kansas. Pigia sister yako, fanye mambo. Hey, I think huo mrecha alikuwa apiga hesabu anaona sasa kusumbua sister ni noma. Ikabidi apigie huo mjamaa. Kaambia mzee John mbona unanisare hapa? Sina hata don't. Nafa nitoke hapa nirudi aje mtashuali. Akaambia wewe unajidai mjanja. Jua vile utarudi home. Akambega kaambia please mzee usinitoke usi jo. Tafadhali niko vizi. After 30 minutes jamaa akarudi. <laughs> akarudi akamwambia haya ingia hapa. So mresha akaingia akajifungia hapo kwa uh, passengers nini na jamaa akashika highway wakiwa kwa barabara akafungua glove compartment akatoa gun akaiweka hapa kando eh hey, dema na shindwa sasa hizi ni nini shuali 
ni aki hii quest yote ni ya kutafuta makaratasi lakini naona nikirudishwa ndani ya box huyu jamani psycho so mzee jamaa kaanza ku drive anakanyaga hiyo kitu deadly anapita ma speed limit huko mbaya anaenda na sasa hiyo aendi akirudi mizuri kwa kina mdemo anaendelea kwenda Kansas like anazidi kuzidi eh akaanza zile matoks za mi acha nikwambie jo kas kupati hakuna mtu mwingine anakupata na hizo ndizo zinakoga talks dangerous by the way uka talk kama hiyo kwa relationship huko mtu yangu tafuta namna uondoke hapo very fast watu wakisemaga hivyo most of the times waga awarudi nyuma so dem akaona he huyu jamaa vile anaendelea hapa ni tadedi jamaa kaenda kaingia hao wengine kumbe ni hao ya rafiki yake ambaye walikuwa military pamoja so it's another vet So wakaingia huko ndani akaambia mumde eh jaribu kukimbia kama una jida mjanja wewe kimbia tu na kupiga risasi ka hapa nataka niongee na rafiki yangu hapa dakika chache alafu nirudi nijue vile nitafanya na wewe mumde akamwambia mimi hakuna mahali naenda niko hapa eh mimi in fact hata siingi acha nikae hapa kwa basement wewe ingia huko uone rafiki yako ukirudi utanipata tu hapa akakaa kwa basement mazee anashindwa ma Nicole Cops ama itakuwaaje Jamaa kaenda akapiga story na rafiki yake for one and a half hours. Msichana ako kwa basement tu ametulia. Wakamaliza story akarudi. Kaambia ingia hapa. Eh wewe nimeona wewe sasa kama kuna mtu bure ni wewe. Na afadhali tu dedisisi wote. Jo wewe nimeona nikikupatia chance wewe hautaribu mambo. Wacha tu dedisisi wote nijue tuko pamoja. Eh wakaingia kwa gari mazeni. Gari inakanyagwa. Inakanyagwa. Odem by the akaona vile huyu boy ana erratic. Ah, akajiambia uongo mbaya. Hapa the safest thing ni kupigia tu police. Huyu boy atanimaliza. Ataniua. So, akiwa tu hapo kando, akatoa simu. Si uh, the river ko inside, so yeah, ko hapa. Akapiga 911. Tip, aka aka call lakini volume amepunguza ki design ndio huyu asisikie Unajua wakichukua simu ukiwa kini unaweza sikia so amepeleka volume chini kabisa then haongei na simu anaongea na huyu jamaa lakini vile anabonga anapatia hawa nini ripoti so analia aki ya nani hiyo ni sign board ya 436 Warwick tumepita aki unaenda wapi sisi tunafaa kwa tunarudi mizuri wewe unanipeleka wapi huku please gai 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 hiyo ni sign board ya nini tumepita aki nani please rudi kumbe hawa wanaokota information oh so wamepita hapa oh so wamepita hapa between wapita hii na wapita hii hii ni distance ya kilomita fulani ile so inamaanisha wanaenda speed fulani eh hey, so wanafinya sana kuna kitu si right hapo maze huko systems zinafanya kazi dispatch 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 wakiwa tu hivyo kwa harakati zao za highway waliona tu lights mbele cops wamefunga barabara nini like simu zilipigwa very fast so jamaka aka slow down of course hajasikia ude makiongea na mtu so i suspect anything ndai ilikuja tu ika slow down makops wakatoka guns blazing kila kitu nini tokeni nje tokeni nje liz in station academic kadogo sana so immediately cops walimuona hivyo wakashindwa wait a minute huyu jamaa anafanya nini na minor sio kageni minor is like calm down guys uh, uh, and she's a minor So akamuita kando haraka haraka wewe uko miaka ngapi akamwambia eh hey, hey, Joe me but niko kwa 1920 uh, somewhere there about oh okay so wewe sima ina hapana hapana eh hey, okay hii body yako imetuchanganya nini ni mbaya hapa eh hey, mzee boy ameni kidnap Joe alikuwa anataka kuniua bana ameka makini point ya gun anaendesha gari vizi dangerous driving uh, me banze na hofu ya maisha yangu so akamuuliza hey, ili ilifikaje ukajipata kwa gari ah alikaa mtu akaniambia tuende na yeye hey, drive fulani mimi nikaingia tuende ah wakaambia sasa mtu yangu uliingia voluntarily ah haukuwa under duress ah sasa hiyo si kidnapping mtu wangu as long as wewe ulijipeleka ukaingia kwa hiyo gari ah hapo hakuna kesi eh so kile tutafanya tu wewe tutasindikiza uende mta eh huyu tutajua kile tutafanya na yeye lakini hapo sidhani unaweza sidhani uko na kesi hapo eh hey, akashin okay kwani hata hii America <laughs> hey, okay so akapele kwa mtaa eh hey, jamaa akaambiwa jo eh hey, hey, unaribu wewe jo vile unacheza na binadamu wengine hapa otherwise utaingia kwa ngori na wewe ni vet hakuna haja nyinyi ni watutumeheshimu bana cheza cheza chini 
So mjamaa I think aka pia ma, ma steam zilikuwa zishashuka so akaona eh okay hapa hapa nilikuwa nishaanza kuchoma jo so akaenda kwanza akakula break kidogo akachill e, mrembo huko mazee ametetemeka mbaya anashindwa uf hapa tutaishi aje after some time mazee akaanza ku stock ana kama hapo kejani ana bangaiza hapo the whole day akiona kama Liza atatoka nje ya keja nini siku moja mgeni akikama akaingia kwa keja akaambia kina Liza na kuna mzungu amekaa hapa kwa stairs anasema anataka kukuona sijui rada ni gani <sighs> Liza kajita meeting akajiambia okay um sene psycho aki like tukikaa tu na ye, yani after 30 minutes anataka kuniua lakini makaratasi guys aki papers i, I need them these papers na jua mna ni judge but papers guys is important so akaenda mzee akaenda akamuona jamaa akalia akatuamba ka ring nyingine akamwambia mimi wana start over again pole na jua nikutishia nini please tu one jo mdema kachukua ring haraka haraka tu harakisha hii kitu bana nipate papers bana hizi ngori zinitokee na wakaanza kuishiishi pamoja hivyo eh but hii round mresh akasema toki kwa hiyo hao kama unataka kukaa na mimi utakaa na mimi hapa mahali watu wangu wako huku unakuja hapa after a couple of days huo jamaa tu alikaa chini siku moja akajiambia ah tch. i think hata mimi pia wacha niache ujinga akaenda akachukua nguo zake zote akapak akaeka kwa bag akafunga bag yake vizuri akatoka na akaenda believe it or not akaenda na akaenda kabisa never to be heard from again makaratasi zimeenda wacha Liza lie oy 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 si ati ni mapenzi papers papers <laughs> gone But uh, Mungu anafanya kazi na mysterious ways hiyo uh, avenue ilijifunga but avenues zingine zilikam zikafunguka somehow jobs zikakubali akaweza ku raise doya fee as long as anasoma akukuwa na ngoria immigration juu visa kani ya kusoma na uko daro mambo iko sawa yep na kakama kamaliza shule vizuri in fact akapata kazi mpaka eh, pepa zake zikakam eventually akamarika akapata papers na anasukuma kazi. Eh, sahi as we speak mambo yake iko sawa. Hapo kwa ndoa ndio kidogo mambo haikuenda sawa sana. Lakini angalau karatasi yako nazo. Eh, aliolewa I think wiki tatu ama ni ine. <laughs> Americans mtatuonyesha nyinyi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but she's good now. Mambo iko sawa but we. Kama si nini ama nini. Tungemuokota JKA. Angeletwa hapa na ndege ya majani kama kago. Bas, na hapo ndio tunafungia kipindi wa down. Eh, watu wanakapitia hapa nje lakini all's well that ends well. Ama namna gani? Very good. Kama kuna watu wa diaspora unajua hawajui tuna exist, please waambieni tuna exist. Wakuje wa watch stories, kama wako na stories zao wanaweza taka tuseme, watuambie email iko pale tu kwa about kwa bio yangu ya YouTube. Watume stories tupigie watu to enlighten people. Ama namna gani? Very nice. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being with me. Adios muchachos. Peace. Asanta. Thank you.